you can and we will get this party started again you do not need anything for today um you can have a mat or a chair to hold on to we will have a little bit of balance working in today but we will not get on the floor like i mentioned earlier i just have my mat out because joey's sleeping on it and i mean come on i'm not gonna move it <laughs> We will do some Tabata intervals today. So all you're really going to need is some space. I recommend shoes. Um, if you don't have shoes on, just be very, very careful, very mindful of your feet and your space around you. And we will jump into our warm up. Okay. So when you are ready, go ahead, take it into a little march in place for me. And welcome to your micro burst. 15 minutes together. We're just moving and grooving. If something that I'm doing doesn't work for you, change it. Just do something. This time is meant for you to just move and feel better than when you started and just make you feel better throughout the rest of your day. So go ahead, join me. Take a nice deep inhale, breathe it in. Long exhale, let it go. Shake off anything that you need to shake off from the morning. Anything you've got this afternoon, it'll still be there later. Don't worry about it. Your time. Stay present with me here. And let's just make this march a little bit bigger. Maybe a little more dramatic. Maybe we swing those arms a little bit more. Maybe we pull those knees up a little bit higher. Bring that awareness into your core. <laughs> Good, and just keep it right here. Go ahead, wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. And you can stay right here, or we can take this into a little jog or a little run in place. Just like that. Do me a favor, relax your face. You can smile if you want. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. Oh. Quick check-in, how you doing? Good to ask yourself that every once in a while. <laughs> See, maybe something like that works better for you. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> waking up your feet. Put your feet about hip width. We're just gonna lift and lower, waking up your feet, your ankles, those calf muscles. Find something on the wall straight in front of you. Focus on it, something not moving. That'll help your balance. Again, keep that awareness in your core. Drop those shoulders down, get them away from your face. Zero tension allowed in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's wake up those legs a little bit more. Go ahead, take those feet out even wider. I want you to keep your toes forward though. Shift your booty back, your weight is in your heels. And side to side lunge. Just take your time. Move through this at your own pace. We're waking up those inner and outer thighs, especially if we've been sitting all morning. <laughs> this might be really talking to you and that's okay. Good, try to keep that knee tracking in line with your toes. Good, go ahead, step it in. Let's circle the arms forward. We're heating up that rotator cuff. Good, I found that people love to like really straighten out their arms on this one and go super fast. Think like a leisurely swim, not like helicopter. Does that make sense? Just slow down. <laughs> Good, we can reverse that. Keep that little bend in your elbow, open up the chest. Very nice. All right, last thing, I just want you to take some leg swings. So make sure you're not gonna kick anything first and foremost and find your balance on one foot and just swing forward and back. So here we're heating up the hip flexors and those hamstrings. Again, some muscle groups that love to get tight the more and more we sit. Good, shake that out. Take the other side when you're ready. Again, hold on to something for balance if you need to. And just breathe. Again, awareness in that core. You're keeping the hips square to the front of the room. Good, good, good. All right, friends, jumping into the bulk of our party. I want you to keep a little march or step touch, just something going that keeps your body moving. We have Tabata intervals today. So we're gonna work for 20 seconds. We're gonna take this little step touch for 10 seconds. So in that transition or your rest period, I still want you to keep moving. So I have four different moves for you. We will go through them twice and then we'll do something else. We're starting today with a sumo squat. So kick your feet out nice and wide. You're gonna turn those toes out, tuck your booty right underneath you. Bend those knees out toward the middle of your foot. Come right back up, that's all it is. Down and up. So I want you to squeeze your booty as you stand up, really press through your heels. Just like that, keep your chest up high, heating up those legs. 
And we take it back into that march or that step touch. If you want to dance, you can dance it out. Do what you got to do. Next move. It's a cross jab. So your knees are going to stay soft. And we're just punching across the room, heating up those arms. Little twist through that torso, heating up your core. When you punch, your back foot is going to rotate up. That's going to also protect your knee. Perfect. Shake it out. Okay, the last two moves, we're gonna combine them because it's kind of fun. So meet me back in that sumo squat. Feet are wide, toes are out. Drop down, hold it. Good, get your guard up, shoulders are down. And we add that cross jab again. So we're still working the core, the shoulders, the legs. So much is gonna happen in 15 minutes, you guys. <laughs> okay, now get a little bit lower. Push your knees back just a little bit. Keep punching, keep punching, keep punching. Perfect, and shake it out. Okay, one more move for you before we repeat. It's a standing bicycle crunch. So just like if you were on your back, your hands are gonna come back behind your head. Elbows are open. You're gonna pull your right knee up, twist your left elbow toward your right knee, take it down and switch. So just like in our bicycle crunch, we're never cheating it. We're never pulling on the head, right? We keep those elbows back and open. And we use those abdominals, we use those obliques to twist, and we shake it out. Those are your four moves, so fun, right? I know. <laughs> and if you're like, what just happened? Don't worry, we're gonna do it all again. Back to our sumo squat. Let's go, down and up. Feet wide, toes turn out. Again, like you're sliding your back down a wall, keep your chest up. Good, I don't care what your arms do here. Party arms are always fun. Always a good option. <laughs> Shake that out, good job. Okay, we go back into those cross jabs, so awareness in your core. Pull your belly button into your spine. Don't squeeze so tight that you can't breathe. If you can't breathe, you can't exercise. <laughs> and if someone out there was just like, wanna bet? <laughs> I know you, because for whatever reason, we love to hold our breath when we're doing hard things. But that makes it even harder. So just breathe, guys. Just breathe. Deep breath in. Long breath out. We're gonna combine those two. So sumo with that cross jab. So find that nice low squat. Hold it. Tuck your booty under. Abs in. Add that twist and punch, 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 punch. Good. Also, great way to get out some morning stress. <laughs> Good. Stay strong, stay strong. Try not to lock out that elbow. Teeny tiny bend and rest. Good job, guys. Shake that out, whatever you need to do. And we're gonna go back into that standing bicycle twist. So hands behind your head or just right behind those ears. Keep the elbows back. Strong core twist, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Good, so there's a teeny bit of a crunch here. Lift that knee up as high as you can. If it doesn't come up very high, that's okay. Just do your best. Nice. Okay, shake it out. Meet me back in that step touch, that little march. We're breathing. We're feeling good, right? <laughs> okay, I want you to stay in this march or whatever movement you need. Maybe you need to take a little walk around the room because I have four new moves for you. It's really two moves that we do on both sides. <laughs> but I think we did this one last week. It's our flamingo, one of my favorite moves. We're gonna find our balance. I like to take my hands behind my head. Hands can also go to the hips or really wherever you need to go. So you're gonna pull one knee up. From there, you're gonna shift it back kind of into a warrior three or similar to a single leg deadlift. So we pull up, we send it back. We'll do that on both sides. Then I have a little cardio move for you too with a knee driver. So first things first, flamingo. I'm gonna balance on my right leg first, pull my left knee up abs in and then I'm gonna kick it back try to find that balance straight line head to heel head to heel we're trying to get parallel to the floor perfect so especially the first few you're gonna wobble that supporting legs gonna wiggle a little bit that's totally fine that's you getting stronger that's you warming up find your balance on that left leg abs in chest lifted good pull that right knee up go ahead shift it back 
So again, we're just going for that straight line. I don't care how low you can go. I don't care how high you can kick your leg up. I want you to find those nice straight lines. I want you to focus on that balance and that core strength. Good, little note on this one. Try to get your toes straight down. We just don't want to open up that hip. Okay, fun cardio move. Kick your right leg back for me. So kind of like a little lunge. We're gonna inhale first. As you exhale, you're gonna pull that knee in. Reach back, pull it in, and then you can pick your pace. You can add a little bit more power behind it, and your heart rate's gonna shoot up. So supporting leg stays bent. Good, shake that out. If that reach is a lot on your shoulders, take it more in front of you rather than above you. Okay, we gotta do the other side. Whew, left leg moving, let's go. Good, notice my neck is in line with my spine. I'm not looking up to the ceiling, crunching on my neck or anything like that. I'm looking about three or four feet in front of me on the floor. Three, two, Whew. Okay, hopefully we're feeling a little more away. <laughs> we gotta do that again. So flamingo, right and left. Knee drivers, right and left. And then we'll cool it down, friends. All right, I'm gonna balance on that right leg. Knee up, send it back, flamingo. <laughs> good, good, good. We're not kicking anything. Neck in line with your spine. Beautiful. Shake it out. Get ready to switch sides. Whew. Keep your feet moving. Keep everything moving. Get ready, abdomen. Let's go, other side. Going for straight long lines. Take your time, keep a teeny bend in that supporting knee. Square off those hips. Three, two, your balance is so good. Six, and shake it out. Sometimes you just have to tell yourself that. If you're having a really like wobbly day, I have great balance. <laughs> knee driver, I'm gonna move my right leg first. Go ahead, step it back, reach it up. Knee driver, in, in. Good, keep your core nice and strong here. Again, that supporting knee, we're gonna take a pretty big bend in it. Good, shake that out. Left leg moving for me this time. Deep breaths. Set it up. Strong core, neck in line. Big exhale on the pull. Let's go. Good, again, slow this down if you need to. Step it if you need to. Go crazy, power that knee up to your face if you need to. Do what works. Three, good job, two, good job. Couple more. Final and rest, shake it out. Nicely done, friends. Good, shake out your arms. Relax your shoulders. Deep breath in. Long breath out, your feet are still moving. We don't wanna slam on the brakes. We gradually slow down. That's why there's a yellow light, right? <laughs> and again, I know someone out there was just like, no. <laughs> we see yellow, we speed up, no. Gradual, so we don't have to slam on the brakes. All right, everybody join me, deep inhale, reach those arms up, up, up. Long exhale, let it go. One more time, deep inhale, up. And exhale, let it go, good. And let's stretch it out. Go ahead, take your right leg, big step back behind you into a high lunge. So reminder, we want that back heel up. If it's not up, keep scooting it back. We're gonna drop those hips straight down, tuck the tailbone underneath you. And we're gonna take that right arm across the chest. So little tip here, if this narrow stance is really, really hard for you to balance, take your back foot, kick it out a little bit wider. Good, instantly we'll help your balance. Right arm across the chest, we're dropping the shoulder down. Good, do me a favor here, squeeze your glutes. That's gonna open up that hip flexor a little bit more. Good, inhale with me. Exhale, we're gonna scoop that right arm up and over to the side. Perfect, and release, let's switch that out. Step together, left leg, big step back, back heel up. 
Drop it straight down, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Find your balance. When you're ready, left arm across the chest, right hand grabs onto that left forearm. Shoulder drops down, chin lifts up high. We take a deep breath. Good, engage those glutes. When you're ready, take that left arm, scoop it up and over for me. Very nice. Perfect, release that, step it in. One more stretch for you. Open up that chest, take your arms behind your back. We're tucking the tailbone forward. We're pulling those knuckles down toward the low diagonal. If you wanna add in a little hamstring stretch here, you can hinge forward until you feel that stretch in your hamstrings. The flatter you keep your back, the sooner you'll feel the stretch. If you wanna go crazy, you can reach those arms up and back. Just do what feels good. Discomfort is great, pain is not. Good, soft knees, come on back up to standing. Release the arms, one more deep inhale, reach up. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Awesome, awesome job. If you have any questions or need anything, please feel free to let me know.